Okay, so today I'm going to show you the Case Stacked RTA by Case and Tony B. Um, it's an RTA. You know how I feel about RTAs. I'm more of an RDA guy, but I'll mess with RTAs here and there when I'm driving, whatever. Um, right now I have the coils that I am putting in he into here on this video. I have some aliens at 0.18. I've been vaping this for about a week and a half now, so let's dive down. I'll show you what this thing's like. I'm going to throw this build into it, wick it up. Um, wicking's very important with these things. And then I'll come back up, tell you what I think about it the past week that I've been using it, tell you what it costs, and uh, how I feel about it. All right. Here we go. All right, so here's the Case Stack RTA by Tony B and Case. They sent me a black one. They got a black dot there to show me. Um, on the back it says that it comes with a 810 acrylic drip tip, bottom airflow system, dual coils, um, metal sheet and spring holding system, optimal 3 mil or 5 mil glass tube, 24 millimeter diameter, 46 millimeter height, um, 304 stainless steel. And it tells you what it comes with. And here it is. It's got their symbol there. Looks like some type of lion with a crown. I really like the drip tip. It's got that knurled clear drip tip. Black and glass. This would be the 5 mil. This would be the 3 mil. And here's the black drip tip it comes with. And these drip tips are just like the goon drip tips. Let's see what else it comes with. Same thing that's written on the back right there. Here's for a giveaway. And this is what it comes with. Let's get this screwdriver out, but it also comes with extra springs, but not any extra screws. Comes with coils, O-rings. A drip tip adapter for the small drip tips that we know I love. But I'm going to get out the screwdriver. See how well it works with this. Alright, put that back. I don't know what kind of fuse clappings they are. It doesn't tell you what kind of alloy is on there. What the ohms are. It just says fuse clappings. It says nowhere what kind of coils they are. I don't know if it says it in the directions. Maybe it does. I highly doubt it. Alright, so uh, it's got the bottom airflow. It's got very nice airflow. Um, like I said, I vaped this for a little bit. And it says at the bottom, stacked RTA. It does have a protruding 510. Looks like it's brass. It says Tony B and Case. And like I said, I got the big 5 mil tank on there. That's what I've been using the whole time. You could twist the top open to do the top fill in them holes. And it's just a fairly nice looking RTA. Black bottom airflow. The airflow doesn't click, it's just smooth. Goes back and forth opens up pretty wide, you can close it down all the way, whatever happens here happens there. It's only dual coil. Let's take the glass off along with the middle. To look at the deck and it is concave inside. Pretty big opening there going to the drip tip. And here's the deck. So, the deck has two flathead screws at the top with a metal plate at the top. It then has a piece of ceramic in the middle, and then it has the positive down low right there. There's the two bottom air flows, and here's where you put your wicking. You stuff it in there, which we'll get to that in a bit. 
You can see the springs right here, and I believe there's also springs in the top part too. So you unscrew this one screw here, and they both start rising, meaning the both screws on that one side. You unscrew this, and they start rising. And you could actually see down here where the screw kind of can stop. So this side I'm kind of done. This side I have a little more. But that doesn't mean that that's all the room I have to work there because this thing floats around. I could go up or down. That opens up more if you need it. I can put that whole screwdriver in there if I want it. Them springs allow you to open up this top, so that's pretty cool. So you don't just have that little bit of room up there. It's whatever you need. Whatever you need to put in here, we'll go in here. Alright. So pretty cool. Springs work well. Screws screw up and down well. Everything's clean. Big airflow to go right below your coils, and there's the wicking. And this is the threading here that puts everything together, and there's an o-ring there to make sure it doesn't leak, which I have not had any problems with the leaking. All right, now. It's very important to wick these well when you put your coils in, any RTA, it's important to wick them well in order for them to operate correctly and in order for them not to leak, especially with bottom airflow. So I'm going to put a set of coils in here. What I'm going to do is put a set of 2836 aliens in there that I made especially for this RTA and especially for this video. All right. I use 28 and 36 gauge micro. I cut off a piece of 28 gauge, attached it to my drill, clapped it with 36, and then decored it. And then I got three pieces of 28 all together. And then I used that decor. I stretched it so I could get the shape of my alien. If you want to see the full video of how to do aliens, I have a pre-recorded tutorial in my playlists. Look for the beginner tutorials, and you will find the alien coil tutorial right there. So I stretch my 36 gauge so it fits over my three pieces of 28 gauge, which you're going to see in a second right here. There they are, three pieces. I use a clip to keep them together. Put my drill in reverse of what I did to Clapton, and I fuse these three pieces together with the 36 that I just stretched to make an alien coil. This bill comes out to about 0.18, six wraps around a three millimeter full coil. Dixon Merlin stand here so I could start installing these coils. So to install these coils, the first thing I would do is get out my three millimeter rod when I wrap these around and I would get my first coil. Now I don't have to bend the leads with this RDA because it has a top and bottom post. So no need for the leads to be on the same plane. I'm going to put my one lead my longer lead in the bottom, then I'm going to put the top lead into the top, just like that, and then I'm going to lightly push it against the posts here, and as I push it against the posts, I'm going to cut my leads on the other side, pretty much as flush as I possibly can. If it sticks out a little bit, that's no big deal because I'm pushing the coil tight to the post, so no big deal. That one could come out. Now I could grab my second coil, put that in the same way, 
see how quickly I could put that in. There, there, boom, it's in. Just like that. I could cut my leads on this coil. Okay, I could leave that coil in. I could go and grab the other coil. Now that my leads are snug down, I can pull this one away from the post a little bit so they're not touching. Then I could pull this one away from the post so it's not touching. Don't pull it out of the posts. And then you could take both these screws and tighten them all the way down. As tight as you can without breaking the ceramic though. But you could pretty much crank down on this. Them springs should stop you from breaking the ceramic mostly. Alright, and now both my coils are installed. If I need to pull them away from there a little bit more, I can. And that's what I'm looking like. Not touching the posts. Right above that airflow. All right. All right, so I do apologize. I did blow through the colors, and I also wicked it without the camera on. So, um, yeah, RDA review problems. Anyway, what we want to do when we wick this is we want to make sure that this hole is filled up with wick, and we're touching just the bottom down here, right down here. We want to touch right down there, the cotton, the cotton just touching right down there. Fill up this whole hole, make sure it's wick good in the coils, and that's what we want to do. Okay, so I did end up getting the colors off them though. Looks pretty good. Anyway, we're going to use some presidential cool wick cotton tonight. And I'm going to get some of this out. As you can see, it's already straight. It's straight strands. And I'm just going to get a piece off here that I'm going to need to wick my two coils. I'm going to take enough off to wick a 3 millimeter coil. That might be a bit much. Let me take a little off. I'm going to twist it, get it through the coil, pump through, make sure it's nice and tight, get the other piece of cotton, same thing. Enough for a three millimeter coil because that's what I'm using. Put it through the coil. All right, now what I want to do is I want to cut these down just a little bit to start. Just cut them even, cut the ends off that I twist it. All right, now I want to take my Coilmaster tweezers and I want to just comb these straight a little bit. I want to make sure my cotton's nice and straight. Cool Wick already comes pretty straight so I'm not going to be getting too much done here. Alright, once I do that a bit I can pull these out 
and that I could cut down a little more. Make it nice and clean. All right. Now I want to be able to look under here and estimate or take my cotton and find out how long it needs to be to get to the bottom. And I'm going to cut a little off at a time. I don't want to cut too much off. So I'm going to cut a little off of one of them and I'm going to check it like this. See if when it goes in that hole, if it's going to hit the bottom there. It looks like it's going to. Cotton's nice and straight going down, touching the bottom of that dish, but not too much to where it's all folded over in there. I have this on the Drew Garoxy. It is a point two. It's around a point one eight coil. It's reading a point two one here, but I have it at. 2.6 volts, just a low voltage, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some juice. I'm using some Adore E-Liquid Hybrid Reserve. It's a thick juice, but it will work fine in this tank because I've already been using it in this tank. Now I'm just going to get some of this juice onto the coils. Drip onto each coil and heat up a bit. And let that juice start going through that cotton as I heat it up.
sure that I have all my wicks nicely wet. and uh, tell you how it's been working for me. So this is a cloudy RTA, man. It's not It's not like a flavor chaser, really closed down RTA. It's very airy. It, it's good for builders, really, if you want to throw in aliens. Frame staples might get a little hot, but I've had frame staples in here. It was pushing it pretty good. Throughout this whole week using it, I actually am pretty much enjoying it fairly well. It's not like a real, like flavor chasing kind of RTA you get good flavor you don't get like amazing flavor off of it but it's great like driving so you don't have to drip or anything um, other than that it's you know it I wish it would have came with directions showing you how it went together uh, at one point I ultrasonic cleaned it before the video an o-ring popped out and I had no idea where this thing popped out from and they didn't have no directions in there to show you like where it went into so I was playing around with it trying to see where this o-ring came from I think I got it in the right place I think it went to the bottom of the glass but other than that man I've been enjoying it um, even with thick juice, this thing flows, man. I haven't had a dry hit off of it. Uh, you got to wick it perfectly. I wicked it bad one time, and, man, it flow. It emptied the entire tank out within 10 seconds. It, it emptied the entire tank. You really got to wick this thing the right way, just like any bottom any bottom airflow RTA is going to do that. You're filling it up with 5 mils of juice. You got to make sure that it's wicked properly. But it's cloudy and I'm getting good flavor. I only have the airflow opened up like a little over halfway. So it gets even more airy than this. Now this is a thick 80-20 juice from a Dory liquid. So it is, it's a cloudy juice to begin with. I'm going to put it down to half. See if the flavor gets a little bit better and if it gets a little less cloudy. But the airflow is good. It's not um, very loud. It's just, uh, you just feel the air coming through. Um, it doesn't make no weird whistle or no weird sound or anything. I, I mean, I've been enjoying it. I'm not really an RTA guy. Um, oh, and they sell it for like 25 bucks. 25 bucks, I think it's a steal. Um, if we were playing the alien games and I was an alien stealing... Uh, Grim Green stuff and he had this on the desk would I take it? I don't know if I would just because I'm an RDA guy um, I like my RDAs will this sit in my truck this week and vape it when I'm driving? Yes, will I fill it up again? Yes um, will it remain in rotation for a year? Probably not but I mean it's a fun deck to build on too and it's a simple deck I think it's good for beginners 
I think that it's a fairly simple deck for a beginner. If this was your first RTA, I don't think that would be a bad idea at all. I don't. It vapes good, man. It does. It vapes pretty freaking good. Not the absolute best flavor, not the worst flavor, though. It's medium flavor. I give it like a 4 out of 5. I'd pick it up for 25 bucks if I was just getting into uh, vaping and needing an RTA for sure. Or if I just wanted something to uh, to build on, take pictures and vape. Yeah, 25 bucks, that's a steal. I got it on the uh, Foxy here from Druga. A beautiful little setup I got. That little lion with the crown kind of matches. I like the drip tip on it. Looking good. That's all I got for this video. Um, check out my playlists. Check out that alien video if you want to see how I made them aliens get a little more in depth. Check out my playlist. I got beginner tutorials, advanced tutorials, all of that. I'm more of a building channel than an RDA review channel, but I'm going to try out these kind of pre recorded reviews instead of doing the hour long live videos on Tuesdays. I'm going to try to have these uploaded. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to take my 3 millimeter bit and carefully, I'm going to pull this coil away from the post so it's not touching. I'm going to pull this coil out of the posts, you fucker.